Today we're going to take a look at the Exotac Titan Light. This is a waterproof refillable lighter uh, that is fairly windproof, waterproof. I mean, it's just a great little fire source and it's made right here in the USA. Guys, with winter here, it's important to get your fire kit together, your fire starting materials. And one thing I'm gonna to bring to you today is one of the Exotac, and this is their Titan Light. This is a new offering from Exotac. Uh, I really like the way they do things. I mean, they have very high quality fire starters and other things they do and EDC items. But this is a refillable lighter and uh, we're going to take a good look at it but the outside you can see that it has a very beautiful machine piece uh, these are made in the usa and uh, in fact they're out of georgia uh, this has a little lanyard loop on top you have a knurled uh, cap right here that you put your fuel in uh, and one of the great things about this light is that it's sealed it's waterproof uh, so you can take this, you know, if you're canoeing or camping or hiking or whatever you're doing, and uh, it keeps everything sealed. One of the big problems with the Zippo lighters is they're not sealed and the fluid evaporates really on short order. I mean, it doesn't take long for it to evaporate. With this, because you can fill this up, uh, you have an O-ring right here, you have your material here. Uh, it just makes it really simple to be able to keep this filled. And so we're going to do that in just a second. I'm going to show you how easy it is. But one of the things about this top, it's a one-turn top. It just comes right off. And yet when it seals down on this O-ring seal, it seals in tight. So again, it is waterproof. It does have the Exotac engraving right here. So it's very simple to just kind of pull and then it just comes right off. Now up front, you have this wind guard uh, or flame guard is what they call it. Uh, it's a convection style, so the, the wind comes up under the flame, and it doesn't blow it out. So it makes it easier to light. Uh, and then you have your wheel here for your striker. Uh, and then also the flint in here, there's this little pin. You can see how it goes through. You can push that through, replace your flint, and then put the pin back through. So this is made to be easy to maintain. And guys, I'll tell you, this is something that's going to last you a long time. I'm going to go ahead and close this up, and we're going to show you how this thing, how to fill this up. Uh, you can take any of your standard lighter fluid, and uh, we're going to take just some Ronsonol, and uh, we're going to fill this up. Now, it doesn't take a whole lot, but you go ahead and put your fuel in here. It soaks into the cotton. You'll see it kind of pop up, and then it soaks back down into the cotton. You don't want to overfill it. Right there we are. We've got it full on. Um, now one thing is, be careful because typically you'll have a little bit of fuel that will seep out at first. So we're going to want to wipe that down, make sure that it doesn't light <laughs> when you light the lighter or the Titan light. The wheel is very easy to light. Uh, one thing you'll want to do is make sure that the fuel around it, once you fill it up, especially a newly filled lighter, uh, that that fuel's burned off because I had to, in fact, it's still popping just a little bit. Now, one of the things that Exotac says is don't overfill the lighter. Uh, if you do, you can have some excess. It's going to burn around the outside. Uh, and what I did was I did overfill it and I opened up the cap and I just let it kind of evaporate a little bit. And then I didn't have any other problems. This fuel is going to be sealed in here. It's going to make it great to be able to light that fire. Um, and then to put it out, just replace your lid and you close it up. And again, it is waterproof. So let's go out and test it out. One thing that I always keep in my fire kits uh, is Vaseline and cotton balls. Really easy to mix up. It's cheap and uh, very effective. And I have a video on this. It's just a great fire starter. Take our Titan light. I mean, it just sparks up just immediately. When you're finished, just drop the lid on it, close it up. I'll do a little water test. We're going to drop it into this gallon jug. Leave it in here for a minute or so. Pull it out. Draw off the outside just a little bit. There we go. 
waterproof. Of course, today it's not windy at all, so we're just going to try to If you're blowing it hard, it will go out. But a regular wind, just a small little breeze, you're not going to put this out. A hurricane? <laughs> That's pretty good. Now this is a metallic olive drab color. Uh, it does come in black, gray, and an orange color. And there are a lot of other items on the Exotac website. If you're looking for stuff that's just out of the ordinary, I think that Exotac is really putting together some quality items. And again, these are made in the U.S., so uh, the quality is really well done. And if you like the traditional Bic lighter, uh, they do make the fire sleeve. This is a great little item. I did this, I believe it was the Battle Box review that came in uh, that had these in there, but it covers up your standard Bic lighter and this little cover comes over and it'll hold that flame on. But this is a great way also to keep your standard Bic lighters waterproof as well. These run $49.95. Now that seems kind of high for a lighter, but on the other hand, for it to be waterproof, uh, it has the fuel inside here. You can refill it. Uh, you, can ref you can change out the flint. You can change the wick out. So this is a long-standing item. This is not something that's just cheap, and it's something, though, that'll last. And when you have those dire moments and you need fire, uh, you're going to be able to count on something like this much more than a standard Bic lighter. You can go to exotac.com, check out a lot of the different things that they're offering. Again, made in the USA, which I love. Uh, just a long-term fire-starting option. <laughs> I love it. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now we're going to go ahead and get the lighter going. 